Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 833. Hey, if you want to download the sort book 831 to 834, click on the link below the video. Hey, here in this video we have a little data set. We have product, store, sales, and we want to average. But we want to average with two criteria. We want to find wine in this column and store one in this column. And anytime we have a true, true, then I go over and get this app value here. Um, want, here would be another one. So true, true, get that number. So we collect all these numbers and then we calculate an average. The average ifs function is a new function in 2007 and 10. Great for averaging with more than one criteria. Uh, but the trick here is we're also going to have to do an approximate match. So I can't just say find wine because if I said find wine it would look for exactly wine like that. Wine. And that's not what we have, so we need to do approximate match. No problem. We'll use wild cards. You put a little asterisk before and after, that means it finds wine with zero or one characters before it and zero or one characters after. Now, all of these are set up to the left, but we could easily have wine. And I better make sure that, uh, no, here, let's do this one down here. I'll do FVT wine. Or it could even be in the middle. It doesn't matter, right? All right, so let's see how to do this. I'm going to scoot this over because we don't need the date column. Now, I'm going to do it two different ways. One, you, want, you might want to have the word wine here without the asterisk because you're using it in other places and other criteria. Other times, if you really just want an approximate match, just type the criteria into the cell. Average ifs. Notice there's average if. That's just one criteria, average ifs. You can have one or more. So might as well use this all the time. All right, average range, that's the number. I click there, Control, Shift, Down Arrow, F4 to lock it. That's, I don't need to lock it here, but I jump the screen back up. Comma, the criteria range, well, let's do the product column first. So I click on the top one, Control, Shift, Down Arrow, F4, comma, and then the criteria. Right here, I'd get no matches, but I can amend this inside the formula. So I put in double quotes, asterisks, and then join it with the ampersand. I better get my asterisks right and not eight. So ampersand, that joins that wild card with the criteria in that cell right there. And then do the same thing on this side. Now really, the only time you'd use this construction is if the wine criteria is being used somewhere else or in a label or in a text formula, right? If you're never going to use it just as wine, then certainly do it that way. But this is useful sometimes. All right, criteria range two, I simply highlight the store column and then put the store criteria in, All right? And then there it is. There is the average. Now, this is made a little bit easier if I copy that in edit mode and then put it in edit mode here and control V. Again, you don't have to do it that way. You can simply do it that way. And it will understand, it will see the two asterisks there and understand it as a wild card. All right, we'll see you next trick.